visitors to the gardens have three weeks from October the 28th to November 18 to enjoy Inside Out. The exhibition just happens to coincide with the maiden voyage of an environmentally friendly battery powered vehicle, perfect for taking people on tours of the gardens. Do you have a staff favourite? Uh, staff favourite. Probably the uh, bell ringer or the tap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people love that bell ringer. Yeah, don't they? it's very good. So there's the bell ringer you want to look at. Matt Walker's sculpture, the bell ringer, reminds us that the ringing of bells has always been a way to signify an event whether rung slowly to mark a death or triumphantly to signify independence. The bell brings people together. The other one you want to look at, you'll just have to do a short little walk down that um, thing there. I can wait for you. <laughs> Pauline Welfare's delicate porcelain pieces in fragile nature are intended to show that with global warming, greenhouse gases and holes in the ozone layer, native plants are under threat. The title of Valerie Stewart's Twice Blessed is taken from Shakespeare. The quality of mercy is not strained, it is twice blessed. In Grandchild to God, Anna Chikos explores the idea that art follows nature and that both art and nature provide sustenance for humanity. Christine Lanham's windows represents the present and past uses of the Orange Botanic Gardens site. You can see flora and fauna imagery, as well as farm and domestic equipment. One of the most dramatic pieces in this year's exhibition, Amanda Hammond's H20, is a response to the drought and global warming. Adam Langford Smith's Seeds of Ingenuity explores the way the land of trees, flora and fauna is slowly becoming an industrial state of metal, cement and construction. Cheryl Trudgeon's Snug looks back to women of past generations who attempted to make their homes more comfortable by making rugs or quilts from whatever was available. Snug attempts to mirror this caring aspect by being made of river vegetation. Reed's work is inspired by watching the synchronised movements of the welcome swallows as they dip and dive in the evening light. In Time Stripped Back, Gillian Trudgeon has created a boat shape to represent a journey made by people to Australia and their contribution to this land. Over the weekend of November the 17th and 18th, Inside Out becomes part of the Orange Colour City Garden Weekend with gardening displays and a Green Words workshop with landscape architect Sarah Hoskin. Camilleroy artist Nairi Reynolds leads participants in art making activities while arts and crafts people sell their wares in an artist's market. These works are by members of the artistic Benny family who live on a property out near Forbes. Favourite ones in the uh, rose garden. Mine's so, number nine. There's a little sculpture of a guy ringing a bell. Oh, you have what he's saying, that, and the same as the one in the peace walk with the um, bird in the hand. 
Members of the Orange Regional Arts Foundation are going through the artists' works, trying to decide on highly commended awards. They were also selecting an artist's award and that artist, one of the participating artists from Inside Out 2007, will have the privilege of having an artist's book made specifically about their work, uh, of this work and other work that they do. The People's Choice Award was won by Matt Walker and he did a beautiful work called The Bell Ringer. Mm -hmm.